Today on Toy Shiz, we're taking a trip back to Eternia with the newest Mattel's Masters of the Universe He-Man Origins figures. Let's talk toys. Welcome back, everyone. Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look. And today, we are totally checking out the newest line of the Masters of the Universe He-Man Origin figures by Mattel. These are starting to hit Target. That's where I came across mine. Sort of just lucked out, went on a late night Target run, and bingo, bingo, all four we're sitting right there on the shelf. So in this newest wave, we've got some, I mean, all four new characters, which is fantastic. This is what I love about Masters of the Universe, not knowing really much about these characters, kind of doing research, but I'm looking at this purely in the sense of, this is just a wild line to collect. It's ridiculous. It's bat poop crazy. And I enjoy it. And there is a character in this wave that is just the embodiment of that. There's also another one that is just like, come on, like, this is too cool. This is like every kid growing up in the 80s would have wanted this guy. He looks so much more powerful than Skeletor. So all the photos, all the artwork, all the packaging, absolutely glorious. Axel Jimenez doing the artwork. And Roy Juarez, who does a fantastic job on all the packaging. Please check them both out on Instagram, and of course, everyone at Mattel that has had their hand in making these figures a reality again. They are a lot of fun, especially when you can find them on the shelves. Just keep that in mind. Sometimes, yeah, it goes either way. Walmart, not really the happening spot for them right now, even though they started the line with their exclusivity last year. But Target, yeah, keep checking. Also, I'm on the lookout for Clamp Champ and Ram Man and... You know, Castle Grayskull now, all those should be hitting and are hitting now. So let's get into it. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of Eternian coffee. This is a look at the newest wave of Mattel's Masters of the Universe, He-Man Origins. And just before we get started, I ask that if you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so on my YouTube channel, Old Toys, New Toys, Daily News Updates, including... He-Man Origins, I guarantee you'll find something here that you like. Now, to start this all off, before we show them out of the packaging, I really, really like this. This is something they're starting to do with the newest wave here, is these old instruction artwork booklets that are in the packaging. One for each character, they simply just tell you that all of the different joints, excluding the legs, are removable and you can swap them out. And that's what's kind of fun about this particular line. It's kind of interesting. You can make new characters if you really wanted to. Also, of course, they come with comic books. Now, methinks these have been sitting in a, in a storage for a while. The, the, some of the comics got glued to the actual packaging. I don't know. It's, um, yeah, it's unfortunate on some, but for the most part, they made them out okay. The comic book is great. I love seeing all the new characters for this wave and each wave for each new comic book just kind of gives you a backstory and it tells kids what these characters are it tells me exactly what these characters are now i know hordak he's the big bad but let's start it off with stratos he's kind of the one of the wave that you're like yeah at least for me he the paint on certain areas of him could have been a little bit better and i think that's my one qualm with this particular wave is the paint could have been a little bit better on some of the figures same exact articulation. He's got these little feathered things that snap on and off. They go on really nicely, nice and snug. And it looks like he's got feathers. The face is great. You know, uh, something on his... I know it's supposed to be feathers, but it looks like something else. I'm just saying that was something that really caught my eye. Yeah, you can pull them apart. You can swap out the pieces. It's a lot of fun. Great playability for kids. Really like the red scheme on him. The blue and the red fit with the gray. Overall, it's kind of like, all right, I'm looking at a monkey man flying bird character, but hey, he's pretty cool. Same thing with Ninjor. Now, Ninjor, this guy is one of my favorites from this wave. It looks like, you know, you doodle something, you know what I mean? And this is, let's just call him Ninjor. Whatever, it doesn't matter. He comes with several weapons, including this awesome bow an arrow thing right here, heavily detailed, holds it well. Again, same exact articulation on this guy. I really like his head sculpt. He's the ninja of Eternia. Why not? Really nice graphic on his chest, the reds, the blacks. Everything's painted well on this guy. Weapon storage on him. Really nice, huge blade, katana, sword kind of deal. And again, 
He holds all the weapons really nicely, and I'm glad that he comes with so many. I mean, he's even got nunchucks. He's a fellow nunchuckist, right? Enthusiast right here. Now, the one problem I will tell you, just be careful with the nunchucks. The chains are made out of plastic. They're a bit flimsy to me. I could see those breaking real real quick on you. So just, just be careful on how you kind of fidget them. But weapon storage, paint, the look of this guy, the ridiculousness, he's awesome. Same thing with Triclops. Now, the greens on him are very vibrant. I like the orange, the green, the scheme of him works really nicely, comes with a nice sword that's painted great as well, nicely detailed. You can kind of hear it in my voice. I'm having fun with these. They're just ridiculous characters, but there's a lot of fun to be had with the same exact body. He too has weapon storage, simply just slips right in there and it looks great can't ask for something more you know this this is the fun of these characters and i'm glad that they even thought about weapon storage now this is where triclops comes in right he has a rotating gizmo helmet on the top no eyes nothing underneath you could do like angry face medium face where's my masters of the universe at walmart face you know it's that sort of deal and it's fun, red eyes, blue eyes, twist them either which way, nice rotation on the head, nice body, swap them out, make a new figure, what have you. This is the guy though, this is the figure that I was like, ooh, I want this guy. So Hordak, yeah, he's like, to me in my head, whatever you want to say, however story-wise, he's great. I had this little, I had the original one of these, wherever that went, I used to have that as a kid. I totally was like, I know this from somewhere. So like the evil horde sort of red little demon guy, he is like a clip and you just kind of secure his tail kind of thing and it goes right in there and he slips over Hordak's arm. This thing right here is like his crossbow sort of deal. We got a really nice gargoyle demon thing on the top of his head. It's just a clip-on weapon. That's what the vintage feel comes. I love this thing. This is fantastic. I wish it did more. It kind of just hooks in and you kind of push it. It kind of sort of works, kind of sort of doesn't. For me, it's fine for what it is. It looks great. It's sculpted well. I thought maybe it was something that fits in here and it would launch this. I don't know, I guess it doesn't. But in either sense, two great accessories for this guy. The sculpt on him is where it's at. This is a evil looking freaky demon guy. Nice paint, nice reds overall. You get a lot of rotation in the head despite being like more of like a helmet sort of deal. Nice red cape. This guy is stellar from top to bottom and he's a little bit taller, which I'll show you in just a second. The one thing I will point out, this can come off if you really want to. The one thing I will point out is that the paint on like the black, they painted over black plastic. It is very kind of see-through-ish. So that's the unfortunate thing. So paint could be better on the armor, but the face, everything else is nice and crisp. Definitely grab this guy. In terms of height wise, he's gonna stack up great with Skeletor. He should be more imposing. He's taller than both which is nice to see. So we get a little bit of height differentiation in this line, which is cool to see. It's a great looking character. Can't say enough nice things. Out of all three, get Hordak and then get Ninja. Same thing with Triclops, put him with the last waves, Roboto, Merman, heck, even She-Ra, you know, she shows up well, have her fight Hordak, you know, if you really wanted to. These are the two coolest characters in the line now. You gotta get both. They are just fantastic toys. And again, height-wise, all the other three figures minus Hordak are in that same scale. So with Skeletor, Stratos, Ninjor, He-Man, yeah, I think it's gonna work really nice for you. So that's gonna wrap up my look at the brand new wave of Mattel's He-Man Origins figures. Pretty much, I would say, knockout overall. Now, Stratos is not like the most exciting figure. Some of the paint could be better on, let's say, Hordak and Stratos, but for the most part, the weapon storage, the look, the fact that we're getting four new characters, they're a lot of fun. Ninja looks, again, I mean, all of them look like, like you doodled in your book at school and then Mattel made a figure out of them. I recommend them. Check them out, find them at Target now. Maybe we'll see these at Walmart eventually. Walmart's kind of had like a backup, it looks like where it's just nothing but He-Man and Skeletor. But I am curious to know what you guys think about these figures. Will you be getting them? Do you already have them? Let me know. Let's talk everything He-Man Origins. 
And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, get that Ninja or in Hordak. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Mm -hmm.